Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing a quick, uh, I guess, early look at the NFL slate for, I guess, not the last main slate, but could be uh, could be one of them. Uh, actually, it's definitely one of them, but I don't know how, how playable Week 17, or excuse me, Week 18? Week 17 is going to be. It's always very, very difficult, or Week 18. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is take just a quick look at the games, take a quick look at my sheets. This is as of Wednesday, which is very, very early, and do a quick uh, Saber Sim build using Contest Sims to see what we would get kind of right off the bat. So, again, just first overall looks here. Miami-Baltimore, I imagine this is a good game. Both teams have very good offenses. Uh, as usual, I don't know who you'd want to play for Baltimore necessarily, but – Seems like you'd want to do something. And Miami, this is, you know, so they have a high-powered offense. And Baltimore has a good defense. And here's, therein lies the, the great debate, whether defenses really matter at all uh, in DFS. Uh, Buffalo, New England. I mean, you'd imagine Buffalo would put the hammer on New England. New England wouldn't have too much to offer. But, you know, Buffalo. So Buffalo's offense is probably going to look good, I guess. Atlanta, Chicago. I imagine Fields is going to look good. Atlanta away from the dome, maybe. I think I don't think we'll be playing the London pits, but maybe. Tennessee, Houston. Well, it depends who's quarterback here. Is Stroud even starting? We don't even know. We don't know what's happening with him. Uh, Vegas, Indianapolis. Vegas has been playing pretty low-scoring games uh, with the new coach. So I don't know what to make of that, but we'll look at the projections. We'll see what we get. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, 7,300 maybe. Carolina, Jacksonville. I don't know. I guess this is not very useful. Rams, Giants, seems like a low-scoring game. Arizona, Philly. All right, so Philly, I expect to put up a ton of points against Arizona. You get some good run backs from Arizona, maybe, but Philadelphia definitely is going to probably have a really big team total. Tampa at home against New Orleans. I imagine they're going to look good as they always. I mean, they've been playing really, really well, and they have good offensive weapons. They'll, they'll look good. San Fran, Washington. San Fran coming off the loss. I think they're going to have a have a field day with Washington. I think they're going to be very playable. I don't know who's going to be the quarterback, but whoever it is for San Francisco, I think it's probably going to be the best play on the slate. I'm just guessing whether it's Purdy or Darnold. I mean, I'd be more than happy to play Darnold with those weapons against Washington, by the way. Uh, what was he? He had a – given his injury. I don't even know what his injury is. Anyway, um, I don't imagine playing Washington here. Pittsburgh, Seattle. Yeah, I guess maybe Seattle's all right against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's defense is usually pretty stout, but – Seattle's looks looks okay. All right, Kansas City, Cincinnati. I think that you'll probably see uh Kansas City offense rate to be okay. You, you know now that at least Rashid Rice is getting these double digit targets every week. So the 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 question of where the you know where Mahomes wants to go with his his you know with his passes, that's been kind of settled. It'd be nice for Kelsey to have a good game one of these days. And then the other side of this, um, yeah, I mean. Browning, if he has, well, if he has Chase back, that will help. And then Chargers against the Broncos, who's playing? I don't even know who's playing this game. But I don't imagine this game being high scoring at all. So in my quick look, before you even look at the sheets, I imagine it would be KC, San Francisco, Tampa, Philly, Chicago, maybe Buffalo. I mean, those would be the teams I probably want to go after, and Miami or Baltimore. Let's take a look at the sheets, though, and let's see what what this looks like. I guess we'll first look at just the players. Um, sorting by point per dollar, for example. Minshew looks like a good quarterback play. McCaffrey, wow, 
wow, even point per dollar is the top play on the slate. Wow, 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 wow. Um, Rasheed Rice, I mentioned him. He's probably going to look good with Kansas City. Tyron Williams, I forgot about that. He's 8,300 is pretty expensive. Josh Jacobs, if he's back, makes sense. Curtis Samuel in that Washington game against San Francisco, I think he is probably the perfect kind of run back guy for Washington. And only 4,400. That makes a lot of sense, actually. James Cook, probably a smash against New England. Shad White. DeAndre Hopkins. These are the guys that look good right off the bat. Wano Robinson, 4K. It's a good cheapo. What do the tight ends look like? Well, first of all, defenses, any standouts? I guess the Broncos against the Chargers. That makes a lot of sense. I think they're going to be pretty popular, actually. Let's see tight ends. Tight ends. Oh, McBride, of course. Waller showed a few flashes. Kelsey, still very expensive. Kittle. Pitts. Gerald Everett in that Charger game. All right, so let's just run a Saberson build and let's just see what we get. And I guess that would be kind of interesting to see if I'd be getting to those same teams that I alluded to. In my earliest looks, and then Bobby and I are going to do like a full game by game breakdown tomorrow. But just to see what a 150 lineup bill would look like given information as of Wednesday, which actually isn't that bad. Um, we're not, I mean, birdie quarterback that that's certainly relevant. Stroud quarterback, I imagine is relevant. Aside from that though, there aren't like, looks like big time Q tags. I guess Kyler Murray, but that really, I really wouldn't play Kyler Murray doesn't really affect Arizona too much. Maybe it affects the McBride efficiency. Pittman, that's that's kind of important, I guess. And yeah, obviously, if Josh Jacobs is out, you have to talk about Samir White again. Saquon is questionable. We don't know who's quarterback for Tennessee. Okay, so there's there's news out there. There's definitely news out there, but it's only Wednesday. Let's see what we got. And then we will do an early contest in here and see what we would get doing that. So first look here. Um, highest owned player would be 68% McCaffrey. And then you get that Samuel and San Francisco. So this Washington-San Francisco game looks to be the, the game you probably want to go after. Now, let's take a look and see team stacks, if that makes sense. Yeah, San Francisco, as I mentioned. Tennessee, it's interesting. Uh, and then it's a big drop. I mean, actually, a big drop from San Francisco to the rest of them. So I think, again, like whichever quarterback you get from San Francisco, he's got incredible weapons against a terrible defense. So I think that coming off a loss, I think it makes a lot of sense. Let's, though, do a contest sim and see what that would look like. All contests. Let's do the main event Millie Maker. No, we'll do the which one do we want to do? We want to do the we don't want to do the two the twenty two hundred. We'll do the twenty dollar. Wait a minute. They're, they're allowing 70 entries in the 2222. You can invest one hundred and fifty thousand dollars into this? Jeez. Okay. All right, so let's do a contest sim with the Millie Maker.
Okay, so once again, it's running 5,000 lineups. Then we're going to try to figure out which of those 5,000 lineups, we're not going to try to figure out, we're going to let the algorithm figure out what are the best of those 5,000 lineups to be putting in the million. All right. So uh, fantasy million maker, risk adjusted ROI, boom. And we'd be getting, ooh, look at the, all this G, DJ Moore. I didn't like them apples. 54% DJ Moore pulled the old switcheroo when it came to the uh, contest sims. All the Philly, Atlanta, Chicago, they want no interest in San Francisco at high ownership. Let's go. So it looks as though Philly, Atlanta, then Chicago, Baltimore would be the top choices in the million makers as of now. Now, again, what this would look like in the spy or other types of tournaments, that's something else. But uh, it's actually pretty interesting that we did this right away. Actually, All right. We're going to do some more in-depth stuff tomorrow. And uh, I'll do showdown for Thursday. We'll do the main slate Sunday. All kinds of football. Good luck, everybody.